welcome to a new episode of InstaTalk, the show that covers all the latest stories on social media by your favorite influencers, bloggers, and lifestyle experts. I'm your host, Dina, and today we're talking about Bella Hadid and whether the word Palestine is simply too controversial for Instagram. We've got InstaTalk's very own Yvonne Ridley with us, the author and journalist, who's here to tell us more about the latest story with Bella Hadid. Hi, Yvonne, how are you? How are you doing with all this issue with the craziness and the COVID-19 lockdown? <laughs> oh, yes, well, I, I think I'm one of the few people who's actually, um, well, enjoy isn't the right word, but I'm making the most out of the lockdown. And uh, it's been quite a productive period for me. Fantastic. Well, you look very relaxed. You look lovely. I love the color. I love the, your style today. So you look brilliant. So lovely to see you again after such a long time being away from yeah, um, thank you as well, doing on screen. Thank you, my darling. Right. Okay. Well, basically, um, the story that we're looking at today basically is um, Instagram originally said Hadid's um, post broke community guideline on bullying or harassment. Now, if you remember um, uh, Bella Hadid and her father, Muhammad Hadid, um, when Bella posted a um, uh, a post about her father's uh, nationality and then Instagram have actually removed the actual post. So what's your take on um, their explanation about the fact that Bella had actually broken um, the community guideline on bullying or harassment? Well it was a nonsense wasn't it and, and uh, that's why um, uh, Bella got um, an apology mm. and um, and everything was um, put back to normal. But this sort of bullying and harassment, when somebody with as high a profile as her, I mean, she has millions of followers on the social networks. Yes. So when someone with as high profile as her uh, puts something up, and you know, a passport should not be controversial, okay. but it shows uh, how the issue of Palestine just simply mentioning the word evokes all sorts of uh, passions in people mm. and she was uh, she's an advocate of Palestine she's very pro-Palestinian I mean why wouldn't she be she is um, yeah. a Palestinian yes. but uh, because she is also an international model, a very powerful role model, someone that people look up to. Uh, mm -hmm. When they step into the issue of Palestine, it can bring on an attack from uh, rabid Zionists. And, you know, I'm sure that some people who are listening to this now will be going, oh, anti-Semitism. But this isn't <laughs> about Jews. It's not about um, Arabs. It's about online bullying. And the reality is that there are many more Christian Zionists out there than uh, there are uh, Jewish Zionists. So why people get so worked up about the use of the Z word is beyond me. Um, you know, there are about 45 to 50 million um, Christian Zionists in America alone. You know, they're a very big constituency of, of Donald Trump's uh, support. Mm -hmm. So when somebody like Bella Hadid, uh, with with all of her social network um, power and pull, uh, stands up and says anything, mm -hmm. everybody will listen and analyze and then move on. But when it's a subject as hot as Palestine, and mm -hmm. all she was doing was showing the origins of her father's birth and heritage, and uh, she's obviously very proud of that and why not? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I follow both herself and her father and her sister on um, Instagram and social media. And if you look at her father's posts, most of the time he's very proud of his heritage. He always talks about um, where he's from and he's also making sure that his kids have actually carried on with um, sort of being proud of who they are. Um, do you think we have um, at this stage sort of, um, uh, 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 you know, sort of given them or maybe they need more support from um, people like, um, sort of uh, that, that are sort of always encouraging you know sort of Palestinians or you know those that are under 
you know, the authority or under sort of the occupation of the Israelis or the Jews or whatever you may call them? Do we think we need to carry on supporting them and giving them that type of support? Because at the moment he is getting a lot of support, but obviously at the same time, social media is actually trying to silence them. Yes, well, wherever people um, live in the world today, if they are being oppressed, then we should give them support. And it doesn't mm -hmm. matter whether they're from the East, the West, uh, the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, those of us who are in a position to uh, should stand up for the oppressed people. And at the moment, whether uh, this is a popular view or not, the Palestinians are being oppressed. They're living under a brutal colonial occupation. Mm -hmm. And really, they do need the support of the international community. And I do believe that um, when people like Bella speak up and speak out for Palestinians, then it is a powerful voice. Mm. And, but the reality is, you know, 99.9% .9 of her posts are on other issues. Absolutely, yes, but, yes. But you see the headlines that are created when yes. uh, somebody in a powerful, uh, influential position say something steps, out of, line. steps out of line <laughs> i call it steps out of line um now um do you think that uh the um, social media or let's say instagram are actually showing you know using bella as an example to show the world that they are actually monitoring stuff oh well it's it's quite clear that um stuff is is being monitored um and and um i just wish that the same scrutiny would be applied to the President of the United States. Because <laughs> let's face it, Donald Trump's tweets, uh, thank <laughs> God he hasn't discovered Instagram yet, but uh, he's, uh, he's got an account, he's got an account. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen him on Instagram anyway, but um, his, his tweets are full of race hate, bigotry, mm. Islamophobia, um, he's also anti-Semitic, you know, he's always invoking uh, tropes about Jews and money uh, and influence. He's a dreadful person and if he um, wasn't the President of the United States, I think he would have been kicked off Twitter <laughs> in the same way that Katie Hopkins was. That's <laughs> That's absolutely true. Yes, absolutely true. Well, um, I think, uh, you know, uh, this brings us to the end of this lovely um, talk. What are you going to be doing today so that we can actually sort of go to something a bit more sort of lighthearted? What are you going to be doing today? Well, I'm scrambling around for a <laughs> copy of yeah, my book. Yes. It's, yeah. uh, it's the first in a trilogy. Right. And I'm on the final chapter of the second book. Um, right. The Caledonians, uh, which I'm hoping will be published in uh, 2021. Excellent. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it or not uh, today. It, it's um, and to tell you the truth, I'm not quite sure how it's going to end either. So today could be quite <laughs> exciting. Can you give us a quick sort of um, idea about the book, just quickly, so that we can actually get our viewers prepared for? maybe a next little interview with yourself. Yes, it, it's about a time traveling history master called Mr. Petrie. He's over 500 years old and he travels through history and he tweaks, he does a nip and tuck here and there to uh, change um, parts of history, but he, he doesn't have the ability to change the course of history. Otherwise he probably um, would have, gone to a, a maternity unit in Austria and right. uh, found the baby Hitler and smothered him. I really look forward to reading this book of yours. <laughs> Well, um, definitely would love to talk more about it um, next uh, in our next show. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today, Yvonne, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Yes, look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>
high time that we have our very own fashion stylist, Rana Zon, to give us some helpful style tips on a shoestring budget. Hello, Rana. How are you, darling? Hi, Dina. How are you? I'm, well. I'm very well, thank, thank you. you. How are you? How hot is it in Dubai at the moment? Tell us. Well, it's very hot. Uh, it's around 50 degrees wow. and the humidity is very high. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine, especially this time of year in the summer. So I really feel sorry yeah. for you guys. Right, Rana. Okay, I have a little challenge for you, okay? I have a budget yeah. of $150 and I want yeah. you to give me some ideas on how to renew my wardrobe without having to break the bank. So do you have any tips? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Listen, now, because it's um, the end of season, so there's a lot of uh, sale going on. Right. Uh, so um, lots of ladies can uh, buy some, you know, must-have mm -hmm. uh, trending pieces that it will uh, go for next year. Right. And uh, because now, um, I think after COVID-19, lots of us uh, like knew that what, what the kind of items that we need. Yeah. And with autumn coming, I think now also we can have uh, some uh, bargain or low prices with a trending big brands mm -hmm. look like. Looking so like. I will give you like an example. Yes, yes because please. I was looking yes. at like uh, now um, what's the colors are yes. coming in for fall winter. Like, you know, the green was with us in summer and now is coming back uh, in winter. Like the dress I'm wearing, it's a khaki green. Okay. You know, and uh, it's, it's trending and I can give the, the design. Uh, if you can see like this is... Um, it's a very uh, flowy cut dress, just very straight, isn't it? Yes. Um, it looks yes. very, very comfortable. Find, yes. You can find like a similar one I have seen in Zara, mm -hmm. with bleated, and oh, it's right. very, very nice. And uh, uh, it's, I don't like around, um, let's say in Durham, maybe yeah. 270. I just like, you know, but like because you were telling me. Yes. 150 uh, dollars yes and she can uh, uh like add to it you know uh match with a uh, cowboy boots mm -hmm. now it's also very trending you can find it in a top shop you can find it also in zara okay and uh you can or you know uh what they say the um, uh, the army boots army boots yes they're the back army, aren't they yeah. they're very very popular yes <laughs> they are back uh and very edgy yeah. and uh i think um uh, this very one comfortable. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah very comfortable and i think potega went uh, they went in with the last year and they are coming back okay. so we can see them in uh, lots of uh, colors mm -hmm. and of course um she can add like with a, a statement um, uh, earrings, mm -hmm. you know, like like this one, like it's, uh, the the oh, name is uh, change. The word is change. Nice. Yeah, these are very nice. Yeah, statement <laughs> earrings are very uh, popular now. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. it can give the whole look, and also you know the 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 cowboy boots. The cowboy hat, sorry. Yes, so obviously the cowboy boots need the cowboy yes. hats, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It looks brilliant. It's also yes. uh, a trend. And something uh, else I'll give you. Yeah, yes. you know this um, denim uh, trousers or right. as we say, the, the calotes. Or yeah, the, yeah, they're the knee-high uh, denim trousers. Yes, that's right. They're, they're quite yes. blurry, quite wide. Yes, yes. yes. Yes, uh, you can find also in Zara with like uh, a long uh, white shirt. You know, now it's like from the from the front shorter than the back. Yes, you see, she can add to it. And apparently, I've or... noticed people tend to tie it at the front. I think and leave it um, sort of flowing from the back. The shirt, the white shirt. Yes, though, which is yes. very yeah, even, I've noticed um, quite. Yeah, they wear it quite often. Um, when they go to the beach or by the seaside or maybe just yeah but together. now even like with some you know this one sport tights or leggings uh -huh. 
they can, you know, and uh, also, uh, as you said, like you see this gold uh, hat, straw hats. Straw hats. I think yes. straw, I've noticed the straw, straw hats yeah. and straw bags are very popular, aren't they? Because I've seen yes. them also yes. in Zara, is that right? Yes, it's in Zara and some of like, you know, we can see like some local designers are doing them, you know, with a handmade beads, mm -hmm. you know. So um, this is also uh, trending. Mm -hmm. And also she can like uh, off like at night or like a dressy, yes. yeah, evening, um, okay. you know, or morning. Oh, true. Yes, you can wear it in the morning. You can, uh, you can have it with a sandal. Yes. Like this is dress because also neon are coming back in winter. Mm, mm, you know, but yeah, this is like H and M dress. So mm. there's a, a a lot of uh, you know um, they say. Uh, there's different ways you can style uh, the outfits. Isn't yes. And um, yes. what if you yes. wanted? I mean, what tips do you have? Um, for us to actually stick to a certain budget, not to go over. Like when I said $150, um, so you showed me the dress that can go with the sandals, you showed me the um, the denim um, uh, knee-high trousers that go with the shirt, uh, and then obviously the uh, uh, army boots. Um, what, how, what tips do you have for people like myself and for our viewers so that they can actually stick to the budget and not go beyond a budget? which we all normally do, to be honest with you. Yeah, but, uh, this is why I, I told you that now lots of people, uh, were, when we were locked down, yes. we knew what we needed. Mm. You know, like, um, uh, like now with the sale, you can see items are coming back the same, mm. the same. Mm. And like always like, you know, now the brown, brown is the new black. Okay, so yeah. uh, always brown, black, gray you know are there for so these are the, the major season, colors winter season I, for the winter yes. and you can wear them daytime evening time with accessories yes, I guess. Yes. Yeah. even okay. summer even mm -hmm. summer we we, we we saw some brown light brown and even uh, you know now we're gonna see in winter as i i told you there's the neon grass is still there uh orange yeah. You know, it's also coming for winter. So yeah. I think that, you know, it's like the fashion is again and again going round and round. So, so coming back, I yeah. think just we have to be very clever. It's not like, okay, maybe I have the black boots already. So I just need to have two items with a $150, mm -hmm. you know. Even if I uh, bought something and I have cash back, mm -hmm. don't spend it. Don't just like, feel like I have to finish the $150. No, yeah, yeah. keep them for next time. Excellent. That's a very good tip, actually, because I'm the sort of person yeah. that says, well, if I have something left over, let me put some more on top. Let me get this yeah. um, pair of trousers or let me get this T-shirt. But, you know, with um, the uh, uh, searching going online and doing the online shopping, there are so many websites out there. And it's so tempting now because it's the sale. How can we actually try and just narrow down our search and, and, uh, and stick to the budget without having to actually spend hours and hours going online and searching? Because that's what I tend to do. I go hours and hours online trying to search for an item. And then at the end of the day, I end up buying something more expensive than what I already, uh, from, you know, expensive more from the budget that I've already set in mind. Uh, I need, uh, yeah, I think that um, we need to maybe count for 10 you know like when you want to say something they tell you count before oh, you I say see, the right. word okay, so think, think, think yeah think hard so, yes. <laughs> Take time, yeah, yes. i think we, we we have to look uh to our wardrobe and see what we want and we what we don't uh, want again you know because as i told you when you dress up um the item it should give you the energy yeah. The okay. good energy. You should feel the item. Mm. That's a very so, good yes. Yeah. So, uh, and if you don't feel this item and you want to give it away, you should thank the item that you're going to give away. Okay. Yeah. Because this item will go to somebody else. So let it go with a good energy, with, with a positive. Heart, good energy, knowing that that's it. Okay. I've worn it. Um, yeah. Um, taking selfies, 
with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Let's yeah. just give it away. Okay, that's brilliant. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Rana, again. Uh, for being with us on this week's uh, show. And uh, yeah, we'll come and visit your wardrobe again next week. I'll look forward to it. Thank you, dear. Thank, Thank you. you See darling. you soon. See you Bye. soon. Take care. Bye-bye. And that brings us to the end of this week's Insta Talk. Thank you so much for joining me, Yvonne and Bernard. We will be back next week with all the latest trending stories from our fashion stylists, influencers, and lifestyle experts. If you want to continue the conversation and watch our weekly episodes of Insta Talk, then follow us online at WTX News on Facebook and Instagram, or visit our website www.wtxnews.com, or subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can like, share, and comment. So that's it from us. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.